My name is Katie and I'm an educator at the Hastings Museum. November is Native American Heritage Month. To help celebrate, we are going to learn about Pawnee pottery. A question we get asked a lot at the museum is how do we know certain artifacts belong to certain tribes? There are a couple of ways that archaeologists and researchers can determine where the artifacts came from. One is by colors used. So in a lot of Native American things, the paint used on them is going to come from berries and plants of that area. A plant that grows well in Nebraska might not grow as well in New York or down in Florida. So once they learn the colors certain plants can make, they'll then locate that plant and where it grows well, and from there can locate the tribe. Another way is by their pottery used. Many tribes are going to have different styles of how they make pottery. Today, we are going to focus on the pottery from the Pawnee. The Pawnee are a tribe that were in Nebraska, and their pots are going to look something like this. You guys might remember from earlier videos that we wear green gloves when dealing with our artifacts to help protect them. Our hands have an oil on them that can damage artifacts. We put on green gloves to help our artifacts stay in better condition. So this is a Pawnee pot. A lot of these pots are going to be very simple in design. The tops are usually rigid. Sometimes the bottom would have geometric shapes. Sometimes they'd be left plain. We are going to make a pinch pop, which is a similar method that the Pawnee would have used. To do this, all you need is clay or Play-Doh. So with your ball of clay, you're going to want to rip off part of it and form a ball in your hands. The base of our pot is going to be a pinch pot. So what you'll do is take your thumb, press it down, and then just pinch the walls up. If you want a bigger pot, you can have a bigger ball of clay when you do this. Once you have it in the shape you want it, set it aside and you're going to grab more clay. To build up the pot, the Pawnees would add coils. The easiest way to do this is to make a long snake with your clay. like this. And then add it around the pot. To help make sure the pot stays together, you would go around and pinch the sides. and you can smooth them with your fingers. And you would keep adding coils to the pot was the size that you wanted. After you make your pot, you can add designs into it. At the museum, we typically will use toothpicks or a sharp skewer. Native Americans would have used sharp sticks or bones, sometimes even rocks, to draw their shapes in. Once it dries, we'd love to see a picture of it if you want to send it to the museum. For more online content, check out our website at www.hastingsmuseum.org. Thanks!